Hi, I'm Andrew Harvey, and this is the fifth and the final video in my series on login and reporting from VT SCADA. The first four videos covered the basics of all the tools built into the program for both login and reporting. In this video, I'm going to go beyond the basics to show you a few extra features. Now, first, I want to tell you that Trihedral has agreements in place with two companies, SciTech, maker of Excel reports, and Ocean Data Systems, maker of Dream Reports. You could use either one of those programs to enhance the report generating abilities of our program. Full information is available on our website at www.trihedral.com. In earlier videos, I told you that after doing an export of information from either the reports uh, page or from an historical data viewer export, you could then take that information and do some post-processing with it, perhaps in Excel. Well, that would be even easier to do if you had a template, especially a template that has a, a macro built into it to do all of the work for you. Now, it turns out that we give you an example of how to do exactly that. In the example folder of every VT SCADA installation, there's an Excel template file with a macro that you're welcome to use as a starting point, examine it, see how to build your own reports, working from there. I'm going to start this video by taking a look at how that works. I'm also going to tell you about how to use the ODBC server option. Now with that, you can take any third-party program that's able to make an ODBC connection to a database and run SQL queries, and then you can query the VT SCADA log tag database to pull out any information you want. As well, you can also access complete records of all driver status and error messages, the alarm history, and current alarm status. So let's take a look at how that works as well. I'm going to start with the sample Excel template. Now, going to the reports page, I'm going to choose a standard report as the starting point because I want to extract raw data to work with. Now, I'm going to choose a single tag to work with perhaps the uh, valve flow. And next time period, well, I'll say the last uh, two hours. Having chosen all of these, I'm now going to make sure that I choose the screen display. Now that's an important step. With screen display and only with screen display, I get the option to choose a template file. Browsing for that, I'm going to find that in my VT SCADA examples folder, I've got, well, there are two templates to work with. Example one in two different uh, formats is a fairly simple example. I'm not going to take the time to look at that. We'll go right to the better one, example two, which has got a, a fairly nice macro in it that we can see how it works. There are two different versions of the file depending on which version of Excel you have, either an older one or a newer one. I'll choose the newer version. And now what's going to happen is that the output from the report will be sent to this template for processing. And then we'll see the result once the processing is complete. I'll run the report. It takes a few moments to generate. Now this is a macro enabled Excel file. I mean, that's the whole point. So you will probably have to adjust your security permissions to allow that macro to run. Now in the background, I see that I have my Excel report. I just need to do a quick refresh on that. I'm going to minimize and re reopen it just to uh, tidy up my screen. And here we can see I've got a header in a, a gorgeous shade of pale green. There are some 1800 data records were exported from the last uh, two hours. But rather than have to see all of those records, the macro is automatically done a, uh, a grouping so that they're hidden away for me. I could click the plus sign to expand that. It's also added in a couple of labels and done a sum, an average, standard deviation and a variance on all of the collected information from the flow. You're able to access the entire Excel function library to create any kind of report you want to do. You could just as easily put a pie chart in here. 
Now, one little thing to be careful of, the, the total might look a bit large. Remember that this is just taking all of the raw values. Now, if that represented gallons per minute, but I've got a, a fresh value being collected on a, a second by second basis, it's not doing the same processing that the totalizer tag would do it. So be aware that inside of your Excel template, you may need to do a bit of extra math to make sure that the numbers are what they're supposed to be. As for looking at the, uh, the template, you can go to your view menu, go to the macros, and you can open up the view macro. It's not password protected by any means. Use that as your starting point to build your own templates and create custom reports. Now, closing that, let's take a look at the options for creating queries from some sort of an external program using the ODBC server option to query the tag database. Now, this next example is going to require a few prerequisites. And naturally, everything you need to know can be found in the VT SCADA help files within the section on SQL queries. The first thing that you're going to need is to have the ODBC server option as part of your VT SCADA license. You can check whether or not that is enabled by opening the About VT SCADA dialog and checking for ODBC server. Yes, I have it enabled. The second thing is that you must install the VT SCADA ODBC driver. Now that comes with the product and it's a quick little install program you can run so that you're able to then query the VT SCADA data store using that driver. Now, another requirement is that security must be enabled. And this is going to also use a, a connection using much the same technology as the VT SCADA internet server. And therefore, you'll have to create a realm. And you're also going to need to add a configuration property to direct the SOAP services to that realm name. Again, all of this is recorded for you in the VT SCADA help files, giving you step-by-step -step instructions. Now, the final thing you're going to need is an ODBC compatible program, which is where you will generate your SQL queries to pull information from VT SCADA for processing. Now, to make the point that you can use any program, I'm going to use one that I found a few minutes ago on the internet. It, I'm using a 30-day trial copy of this program. Now, please understand, there's, there's no particular endorsement here. I just want to demonstrate that pretty much anything that's out there that can run an SQL query can be used. For this example, I've copied two queries directly out of the help files from the samples page, and I modified them just a little bit to use tag names from the, uh, the application that I'm running, and also to use today's date. When I run these queries, here, what I'm doing is querying the alarm history for any alarm that was acknowledged by an operator with my name today. And I can see that, yes, I've acknowledged two alarms so far. My other query collects the timestamp and raw data from two separate tags, again, from the history table. And again, the timestamp is today between well, 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock, remembering that when VT SCADA stores information, it always uses UTC timestamps. Now, that's an important point. It means that your data is always stored in a very consistent manner. But when you query it later on, you will have to adjust for your local time uh, zone. The results of that are easily displayed and then I can take this raw information to send it anywhere. Now, if there's a null, that simply means that at any particular moment, one of the tags was recorded, but down to the millisecond value, the other tag might not have been. So I can see back and forth that some tags had, uh, the valve might have been closed and therefore nothing happening, or it could have just been bouncing back and forth between the two with different timestamps on the raw values. In any case, the point is that I can now access anything from VT SCADA and then process it however I want 
for any report. And with that, that wraps up my series on logging and reporting in VT SCADA. If you have any further questions, well, don't forget to check the help files. After all, everything that I know, I make a point of writing it down there so that you can read it at your leisure anytime you need it. Thanks for watching.